there, Audie? We got some fun <laughs> stuff planned and some cool toys yep. that we brought. Um, yep. So, but first things first, on Thursday at five o'clock in 407, we are having the project's interest meeting. So this is gonna be the official kickoff to those projects. We have mobile and we have web. Um, there's a couple clubs that are interested in us building websites for them. So this is something that you can put on your resume, even if you don't know any HTML at all or CSS. Um, we have a couple different things that we're gonna be working with. So good with that. Uh, five o'clock, come ready. Any questions? Um, well you said mobile and web, right? Yes. So would you recommend, well, I say we wanted to do both. Mm -hmm. Like, would you recommend that, or would, like, would the side project be a lot? Like, it, it would be a lot <laughs> to do, like, to kind of balance between both. Mm -hmm. So we are going to be doing like presentations. So I'm going to be the lead on like any of the website or web development stuff, and we're going to present on like the different um, projects that we have going. And Santosh is going to be doing his with mobile. So you'll see what projects are available, and then maybe that'll help you decide that end. Uh, is this uh, next week or on like a specific day? Or? This Thursday, week. this Thursday, this 407. Just this Thursday? Yes, okay. it's the project kickoff. Cool. If you can't five make o'clock, it. right? Yep. Yeah, five o'clock. It's that, it's that nice room with like a glass window, you can't miss it. It's really nice, we're gonna go over how to use it too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, That's so because it's on yeah. Thursday, right? Mm -hmm. Now it's not really a normal time for our club. Yeah. So is it gonna be on YouTube and if like we miss it? Cause I have class at that time. Mm -hmm. so, you know, um, you? We're gonna put out like an announcement on Facebook uh -huh. and we can put like a Google form with it for anybody who yeah. can't make it yeah. if you're interested and then like you can just fill that out after and we can put up our slides okay. so you can look over what projects. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, what room did you say this was in again? 407. Okay. It's the really like nice one with the glass on the corner yeah. here you when you come out. It. It's, it's yeah. not the one that students are allowed in? Like, so like anybody. Any, you can go in but you can only work in there if you have a group. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know what room it is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, like, how long is it going to be? Because I also have a class of five, but like, I can come late, maybe. That's uh, fine. Yeah, you have class until five or at five? At five. So like, uh, how you, late are you guys going to be? Go, go to class. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave early. <laughs> but, but again, we'll put up our slides and we'll put up some kind of a Google form. So, if you are interested, then we can reach out. Yeah, and that's just the kickoff. So if you can't mm -hmm. meet during that time, like you can collaborate like at other times. Right. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions before Bark gets started? Cool. I look forward to working with all of you. We're gonna learn about some hardware, guys. Um, quick question: Would anybody, would you guys be willing to come up and kind of like touch all this at the end, or do you want me to pass it around to everybody? Come up, yeah. this cool, I guess. All right, that's cool. Make sure you guys don't touch this. Yeah. This is her. That's my child. <laughs> <laughs> this is my child. So you can look, but you can't touch. All right. All right. So who knows something about computer hardware? What do you know? Uh, I actually built my own computer a month ago. Oh wow! All right. Look at you. So what about you? Um, you know? upgrade the parts of my Mac Pro, before, <laughs> like the RAM and the um GPU. Wow, I must have been tough getting in there. So the RAM was. <laughs> you got your hand up? Yeah, I took course in. But that was back in 1995, how to trace <laughs> and diagnose problems in them. Wow. But it's got to be the same because they didn't teach me no one system. They just taught me how to, you know, tell what the pins do and if they work and trace down the problem from wherever it stopped working at. So, yeah, I had to go. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, that was really cool. You had your hand up? Yeah, just, uh, this is old keyboards, and there's just a while ago, like when you could actually replace the keyboard in a laptop and uh, the batteries in modern laptops. Nice, okay. So it seems like you guys have a pretty thorough knowledge. So this is kind of just like a basic hardware like workshop. It's not anything like fancy or anything. So you guys probably know most of this stuff, but you know, it's just a fun, relaxing time. All right, so my name is Bart Allen. I'm actually currently a senior here at Towson. Uh, right now I'm just a computer science major. So, and I'll be leading this presentation. All right, so first we're gonna talk about the CPU. So the CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. It's essentially the brain of the computer. So without the CPU, it wouldn't be able to run and do any calculations. So such as running programs like Visual Studios or doing any of your programming knowledge. Um, this is also how you're able to do anything on your computer. Now we're going to move on to the RAM. 
Now, everyone knows, I'm pretty sure you guys all know about RAM since you guys were, since you um, <laughs> fixed out your RAM. So RAM stands for random access memory. It's just basically just responsible for like easily accessing data or storing it in case you're not like executing anything. Now we have SSD versus hard drive. All right, does anybody know the difference before I move on to the next slide? An SSD is kind of like your USB drive where it's just chips and then um, a hard drive is a spinning disk. Uh, typically if you have a laptop, an SSD is a lot faster than a hard, a hard disk drive. And if you have a laptop, no one will be walking around with your laptop with a hard disk drive because usually you'll break it. That's true. You pretty much summed it up pretty nicely. So. <clears throat> so yeah, pretty much, yeah, SSDs are a lot faster, they're more efficient, also they have no moving parts. So obviously with a hard drive, you see this disk right here, it uses the uh, these little pins right here to kind of read and write data off of it, and then obviously for an SSD, there's no moving parts, it just stores it all on like chip sets. And then obviously HCD stands for hard drive, and then SSD stands for solid state. Most of this stuff you guys will probably learn. How many people are underclassmen, like sophomores or freshmen? Okay, so you guys will probably take a class 290 and you'll probably learn about this more in depth. So it's a good thing you guys are coming here so like you'll get like a little like introduction, but you're probably gonna go into more detail. All right, so I didn't, let me go back. I didn't realize this, well I did, but like desktop GPUs and laptop GPUs are obviously different. I thought they were kind of the same in certain laptops. So like a big horsepower laptop, like my laptop, I thought they could probably fit like a small GPU, but you learn, you live and you learn. So All right. GPU stands for gen, uh, graphical processor unit. So that's what you're able to see right here. And also like a big thing. So when you guys come up to see this, you'll see this big, huge, chunky thing. It's able to, you know, <laughs> render all like graphical stuff, such as like games and whatnot. So next thing we have is the power supply. This big thing is responsible for uh, powering up the pretty much the PC. So without this big thing, you guys won't be able to power anything unless you have a laptop, then it's just a standard battery. Um, <clears throat> all right, now the good thing, the, the beneficial thing about knowing more about your hardware is because like you said, or like anybody else, you can easily swap out your parts. Yeah, easier to swap out your parts, diagnose. So if like something's wrong with like Windows boot up or something like that, you can easily detect, oh, it might be a RAM issue or, oh, I can go back in and uh, see if it's a memory issue. Um, other than that, uh, and then there's like a little blurb that I said, if you tend to make 30 tabs on Google Chrome, you're gonna obviously blow through your RAM, especially nowadays. <clears throat> Are there any questions? I think I did that. <laughs> <laughs> you made 30 plus tabs? I, I made a lot of tabs and then pushed them over to the side. So I can <laughs> always move them over. It happens. It definitely happens. All right, if there are no questions. All right. If you guys are more interested about hardware, these are some of the YouTube channels that I personally watch. There's probably a lot more than what I've watched, but, you know, there's TechSource, there's... Hardware Conducts, Jay-Z's Two Cents, anybody heard of him? No. All right, anybody heard of Bitwit, Paul's Hardware, Linus Tech Tips? I heard of him. Yeah. 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 Everybody's heard of Linus <laughs> Tech Tips. So. All right, and then the last two things, if you guys are more interested and you guys want to do some of your own projects, I recommend Raspberry Pi or Arduino, and we're probably going to present you or give you the slides so they, these have the uh, respected links on them. Um, so it has like the entire like Amazon page of like, where you can buy the kits and like different pricing and whatnot. I personally love the Raspberry Pi. I've never worked with an Arduino, so I don't know what the difference is besides just preference. So, and that's about it. That's all I have. Is there any further questions? I know it was kind of brief, but. Um, for like the cooling of the computer, like some, like I know there's like liquid cooling and then fan cooling. Is that just based on like the parts you have, like? the power it creates. Yep. And also, it depends on the processor, I think, so. Are you thinking about running your own computer, I assume? Yeah, okay. I, I want to build like a gaming, well, I stream too, but. Okay. So hey, you definitely want a pretty nice, power, like a diff, like you definitely want a nice graphical oh, processor so. unit, so. Yeah, because I've been looking at those and because 
like I know that like they're more expensive because of like bit mining. Oh yeah. Well, I think I think they've gone down a bit because yeah. like it's not like a hot commodity. Yeah. Like, yeah. Have, like a year or two ago, it was like really expensive, yeah. and I was like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think right now is probably the best time to actually go out and get like GPUs now. So I personally will wait till Black Friday though. That's true. Yeah. That's, That's exactly true. the good one. Um, the graphing processor I had was like the GTS 1060. Uh, but I got that on sale off of UA. That's a pretty good site to go on. They have a lot of sales and they also compare the prices to Amazon. But and also I would recommend water cooler, more of the more of the liquid cooler guy. Ah. Liquid, not water. It's not it's not actual process. Oh, okay, okay. It's the, the air pump, the yeah. pump's not inside of the system. That's okay. so why I said liquid instead of a water cooler. Okay. Making sure I'm, yeah, I'm, I've, seen, I've, seen, I've seen water coolers like yeah. the hose. I'm not biased. I'm not yeah. biased against water coolers. It's just yeah. me. It's just cringy because like so many things can go wrong. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I don't yeah. have a pump in mind. It's just liquid. Okay, that's cool. You think it's cool necessary to have a desktop with uh, the rise of the external GPUs? Uh, I'm not really familiar with Ryzen, but I've heard some good things about it. So yeah. <clears throat> Definitely, maybe look at Linus Tech Tips. He has a lot of things about Ryzen. That's all I can really recommend. Did, did you already say that? I don't know. Oh, sorry, sorry, my bad. Can you repeat yourself? Yeah, with the rise of uh, external GPUs, do you see the point of a desktop computer? That's a good question. Um, I, me personally, it did, so are you using, so you're using an external GPU, right? Well, Is I'm that what you said? I, I just have a laptop. I have no point right. of having one. Are you gaming on it? I assume? I don't game anymore. Uh, <laughs> <we're not> <laughs> <laughs> There's a problem because if you get too far in the flow, you won't be able to get out. You're too addicted. That's true. <laughs> and I try my best to keep my distance. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, me personally, though, like, if you want to lug around a big GPU unit for with your laptop, I mean, that's up to you, but like, if you want to have a desktop with a dedicated GPU, that's probably the better way to go. Does that answer your question? Yeah, but it wasn't like just for me. Oh, okay. Well, I'm in general too. In general yeah. too. So, I know GPU. I know like standalone GPUs for laptops aren't that like cheap either. So, gotcha. Um, yeah, I want to fix it. Just in case something happens. What do you mean? <coughs> Like if something was to happen in your PC and you got to fix it, like y'all going over that today? No. no. <laughs> I mean, because like that's the thing. Everything's different with every CPU. So like I could have something wrong with my laptop, and it could be a, the same thing with yours, but it could be like in two different areas of the hardware. So like I could have a RAM issue, but you could have something wrong with your SSD or your hard drive, but it could be outputting the same error message. So it, it'd be kind of hard to diagnose something. Or like define like a problem CPU or problem computer to kind of like diagnose here. But I mean, if you're interested in doing that, we could try to figure something out if you want to. Would you be interested in seeing that? Um, like we can do like a general, like if you see this type of error, you can do like these are certain things you can do or something like that. Um, sure. Okay. How am I doing that? What's the name of the diagnostic tool you use? Uh, I don't really use any diagnostics. So you look at the errors, look them up, and then, yeah. okay. Gotcha. Yeah, it's basically just advanced Google. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can use diagnostic tools, tools if you want to, but. I just didn't know if you had a preferred one. I mean, yeah, if you want to, I guess, uh, supercharge like all your hardware and like test them and whatnot, I don't really have any much to recommend. Like hardware okay. clocking and whatnot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what is the difference between DDR3 and DDR4 RAM? So I think if I remember correctly, uh, DDR, like it's, it's like a slight difference in my opinion, but like I have, like my laptop has a DDR4. So I think it's just speed, in my opinion. Uh, okay. I, don't call me on it, but I just think it's just speed. Um, I don't think yeah. my DDR3 RAM works fine, but you know, someone said it's outdated. I'm like, Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Like literally every two weeks for something new. Plus, you have a Mac, so it's like, it's also it's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I'm not sure. Okay. 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 I guess better suited for a Mac. So you can't upgrade into DR4 anyway. It's, yeah. just, it's just not gonna work. So yeah. I was like, what's the hey, difference? I'm, so, I'm, I'm all with you, because I'm all, I'm all about Mac, so. <laughs>
I have nothing against Mac Jones. I'm just saying. I just know DJ Armstrong. Yeah. yeah. People say they get like parts from like micro centers and stuff. Is that like? I mean, I don't even know what. Like, I guess it's just a parts place, but mm. I don't even know what micro center really is. Really? Micro center is like Toys R Us. Yeah. That's where I got my Yeah. Like, like, like it's so literally yeah, Toys R Us for us geeks. So it's just like a bunch of parts. Yeah. Like then, it's not all parts, but like they have laptops, they have all this stuff. Yeah. So you can even go in. They'll even help you build a PC with you. Yeah. So that'd be like a really good resource if you yes. wanted to. Build There's only like 15 minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One Still. really, really close. So, they actually have some pretty good deals now, so best place to go online. You just walk in there and you'll come up with something to buy. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the thing, too. As soon as you walk in, they're going to be like right on you. And like, what do you need? What do you want? In a good way, though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> too helpful, you know? Yeah. Are there any dangers to liquid cooling? Um, I know Linus did a video about that. The only thing I heard about liquid cooling is like it can seep kind of into your components of the motherboard if you're not careful. And also depends on how intense you're using your CPU. So if like you're doing some pretty hardcore gaming or like video rendering, I've heard like it can seep into the, the motherboard. So. Is it pretty dangerous? for the win, just some. Got that big metal Any problems in building a computer in a fridge? <laughs> <laughs> Are you asking me directly or you yeah, just open it? Yeah, I'm asking directly. Oh no, I I've never really built a PC. Okay. Wish I did. But I guess your opinion is what I'm asking. Uh, I, I don't say, sorry, say that again. What was your question? <laughs> yeah. Building a, a computer in a fridge. Building a computer in, in a fridge. fridge. To keep it cool. Like, I mean, that could <laughs> be, that could be a, that could be a cool video idea. Yeah. <laughs> be a cool one. They have to watch the news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little like a water in there too. <laughs> Oh, in that's the freezer, you have to build it for the freezer. That's true. I heard, I heard uh, some people do that with their new MacBook Pros. Because the, um, the processors are really not that off. <laughs> you guys didn't hear about no, that? No, I know exactly what you're talking oh, about. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, like, the new MacBook Pros, their hardware is like, like, you know, I think they have the Core i9 or i7. Like that one? Like, what? Like his? Yeah, his not like the new one. That's, that's two no. years. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the newer, newer ones that just came out. Yeah, they have Core i9s, I think. But the cooling solution that they did for their computers is not optimal. So they, like, started, like, revamp or they started like noticing that the macbooks were actually getting really really hot so some people were like oh if you want more efficiency just put it in the freezer we'll watch youtube videos i'm not kidding it's gonna be wait nice it's because i just got a macbook pro like two one? months ago i used to do it with my phone just making the freezer <laughs> so, got that hot. Is, sort of so is that why it's overheating <laughs> yeah oh my goodness <laughs> yeah so, it, was a, it was a huge thing so, i don't know if it still is MacBooks aren't good at So anymore. should I just should should I just go back to where I should I, should I go to Apple and be like? I mean, I'm not saying I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Because I'm, I'm not putting it in the freezer. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I mean, but I will go to Apple and go because I I, I have noticed it gets not in, not intensely hot, right. but it gets warm. Like, and it's a brand. It's like two months old. So. Right. I mean, there's other solutions to that. I mean, I was just saying that's what most people thought or found out to be like the most optimal. But should I ask Apple? Like, should I take it to Apple and be like, why is this heating or what? They're probably going to do a recall on the yeah. phone. Mm -hmm. they, they have to. Because same yeah. thing happened with Galaxy when, when they had their exploding phones. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the phone, the laptop. Uh, yeah. Well, even the laptop. Yeah. They're probably just going to be like, we can take a look at it and see if we can change the fans out or something like that okay. and charge you something. Charge or if, like, you for your mistake. To, yeah, try to find some mistake, but... They're going to charge you for your mistake. <laughs> <laughs> but their engineers probably just didn't realize that, like, oh, Core i9, like, we should probably have a better cooling solution with it. So, okay. yeah. But it's not going to, like, blow up on you. No, no, no. no, no. no. Just, okay. yeah, most people just put it in the freezer, like, okay, it's overheating, let me cool it down really quick. No, that... I'm not putting my computer in the <laughs> that, That's perfectly fine. Are there any uh, other questions before you guys can come up and touch all this besides this? Don't, don't touch this. <laughs> Why does Google Chrome eat up so much RAM? Um, I personally don't know the answer. If I had to take an educated guess, it would probably be because Google Chrome probably uses some type of... Uh, it's kind of like asking the difference between Internet 1 and Google Chrome. I think Google Chrome goes into your processor and actually 
saves like it, it allocates its own space into the uh, RAM and it's like, okay, hey, I'm here. So every time I make a new tab, I'm gonna create more and more memory slots to fill up so that way that person can use that page that you're not using if it's like a hundred random new tabs. Mm -hmm. And like, it's gonna keep referring to it. So that's why when you click that tab later on, it's like nice and fresh versus like, I think if you did on Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge, it's like, it'll boot up a little slow and it'll take me a little sluggish, but that's my opinion. I might entirely sure. It's all the data Google's stealing from you. <laughs> you got store tracking. Yeah, like, 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 I want to add on to that. Uh, if you actually opened up Task Manager while Google Chrome was up, you could have one tab open, but then it will say there's 18 tabs. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, it probably could be another, like, that could also be like what you were talking about, like going into the processor is probably using a tab, a uh, tab for yeah. that. <laughs> a tab, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sounds like Chrome's heavily used. Is there like a benefit to using Chrome? I, I mean, just use Firefox, and I've been using it for like ten years. You use Firefox? Yeah. I mean, me, I, I think it's just a personal preference. Okay. I just like it because like the UI that they just recently rolled out is mm -hmm. is pretty oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. It's edge now. Firefox. You go to the security section. You can do that in Chrome too, and you can see like all your stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's the same thing in Chrome. <laughs> I think you can't really avoid that. With Chrome, you can like save your profile too and like put it on different computers. I, I guess that's the main thing for me is you can like save your profile and then just log in and you have like your favorited tabs and stuff. I mean, that's probably not secure, but. <laughs> I think Firefox can do that. Firefox does, can do that also. Okay. Oh, okay. It, was a, it was a rumor that Chrome, would, Chrome ran so much faster than any, any other browser. And I think that's like, it became a household name. <laughs> yeah. now. Well now, now if you see like if you go on Microsoft Edge, it's like you get Microsoft Edge and it's like Google Chrome's faster than this. And if you get Google Chrome, it's like Microsoft Edge is faster. It's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> marketing, marketing toys. Yeah, Safari so process. Like, yeah, I it's just a personal process. Like I've used Firefox. Huh? I have nothing against Safari. Like, I, 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 I wasn't gonna say anything, but I'm all, I'm I'm sorry, but I'm all about Safari. So Safari has a, Safari's not. I don't know. <laughs> I was just joking. Okay, Safari needs to just stay in the corner. But their, their but new I ad still, thing is like, I you know, hey, you, hey, like this. I'm sorry, but I'm not a Chrome fan. <laughs> I'm just no. not. You're not missing out. So. I, will, I, I use Firefox, but I also use, I still use Safari. I'm like a Rams happy about that. Like, but I, I, I can't stand Chrome. So. All right. Just, all right. Well, uh, you guys are feel free to come up and look at all this stuff and be able to play with it and stuff. Um, Anything that's not in a computer, yes. you can touch and pick up. <laughs> you can even touch the hard drive. <laughs> oh, static. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, nah, I